From giant scary spiders to bizarre alien insects, here are 12 of the weirdest insect and spider cryptids. Welcome to Crypto Fun Fridays. Hi guys, Crypto Queen here. Want to help out Epic Wildlife? They're awesome Crypto Fun Fridays. Yoshi Kepu. Now this creature could almost be termed a spider human. It's said to be part human and part arachnid and haunted a town in Hokkaido, Japan. According to legend, certain elemental spirits cursed a villager to witness the destruction of his settlement. Yaoshi Kepu was dispatched to fulfill that curse. It destroyed the town and slaughtered the inhabitants. The spirits were moved by the villagers' fear and transformed the spider creature into an octopus, whereupon it was cast into the sea. Since then, that octopus has been sighted for centuries, or so it is said. Aunt People While these creatures have no exact connection to the superhero, they are pretty fascinating nonetheless. They're called the Abatwa and appear in Zulu mythology. The tiny humanoids are small enough to hide underneath a blade of grass or live in ant holes. They live like nomads and are said to be continually on the hunt. They're also said to be touchy about their diminutive size and will fire poison arrows at a human thought to have offended them. So be sure to watch your step. Accidentally stepping on an abatwa could result in death. Yours. A Verisboro Gallinipper. Now this is said to be a huge mosquito going on about the size of a hawk. It was first seen in the town of Averisboro in North Carolina notable for being the site of a civil war battle. Thanks to its great size, the monster mosquito has a sting that could slice through a man's arm. It said the lumbermen who worked in the swamps of North Carolina feared the gallinipper more than the bears and alligators there. Roteo And to follow up on the gallinipper, creatures similar to that one also appear in the folklore of the Tuscarora a local Native American tribe. In one version, the beast is known as Roteo. It was a man-sized mosquito that had a stinger that sucked out all the blood of its victims and killing them. It was finally killed when an arrow pierced its heart, releasing the small mosquitoes we are familiar with today. Luffalang this fearsome critter appears in North American folklore and is said to resemble a huge spider with a bushy tail, triple jointed legs and blue stripes. The stripes seem to fit with the creature's head which is said to resemble that of a tiger, although some sources say it's more like a horse. It can apparently run fast in any direction to catch and kill victims with its deadly venom delivered with a single bite. Now there is a way to discourage them if the victim has a large mirror it can be used to confuse the Luffalang. It'll run away in fear after being scared by its own horrific appearance. Ulegu. Now, hopefully, I'm somewhat close with that pronunciation. Well, this is a critter that appeared in the folklore of the Carolina Cherokee, and it is somewhat similar to Roteo. This was said to be a gigantic yellow jacket wasp that would swoop out of the sky and snatch up children to carry back to the cave in western North Carolina. Cherokee hunters were said to have built fires at the cave's entrance, which smothered the enormous insect in addition to many smaller specimens. But it is said a few of those creatures did escape and spread across the world, becoming the yellow jackets we now recognize. Mantis Man as you might guess, this cryptid gets its name due to its resemblance to a praying mantis. It's been reported near Hackettsburg, New Jersey. Now, it's only been sighted a few times, usually near a body of water. It does not appear to mean harm to anyone. In fact, it's been described as shy, tending to run off unspotted. Accounts claim it stands around 8 feet tall and has a pale brown coloration with long, thin arms and a head that is small in proportion to its body. There are plenty of theories about this one, while some people think it could simply be a huge praying mantis. Others suggest the creature might be the result of a failed experiment, or might even be some sort of alien species. What's your theory? Old Spider Legs 
a lumberjack is said to have spotted this creature in the 19th century as he was in the woods. When he heard what sounded like galloping, he did indeed see a horse, albeit a horse with eight legs positioned just like a spider's. The lumberjack mounted his own horse and gave chase, but the eight-legged critter outraced him and was lost from view. It evidently learned how to use its extra limbs to run incredibly fast. Now, since then, many have claimed to hear it, but there have been no eyewitness accounts. Cryptozoologists have theorized the creature could have been a wild horse that was born with a twin not fully developed, and that might help explain its arachnid-like appendages. Or could it have possibly been some sort of bizarre equine arachnid hybrid? The Ads. It appears in the legends of the Yu people of Ghana and Togo. This creature is said to be a type of vampire that can assume the form of certain insects like fireflies. While in its insect form, it behaves like a vampire, sucking the blood of children during the night. Victims who suffer its bite are said to become witches that are possessed by the vampire's spirit. Should the creature be caught, it will revert to a humanoid appearance. That's a bad sign, because the cryptid is more likely to attack and feast on your organs. So the idea is to kill the ads in its human form before it can start up with all that gory mess. Human sorcerers are said to invite the creature to possess them. Conrit. Now this term Conrit applies to sea serpents, but this cryptid from Vietnam is unique in that it's usually described as a huge aquatic centipede. It's said to live in the South China Sea, and its body is composed of a series of bony plates, along with fish-like fins it uses to swim. In 1833, a beached carcass was found that was said to measure over 60 feet long and around three feet wide. Half a century later, a creature with a similar description washed ashore in Vietnam. It was decapitated, but had segmented joints that were tough and durable. And when struck, it sounded like sheet metal. In the late 19th century, a ship sailing near Cape Falcon, Algeria, encountered a creature that matched the Conrit's appearance. It had countless fins it used to propel itself through the water and was fast enough to keep pace with the vessel. That beast was estimated at more than 130 feet long. Chiba Fofi. This monster arachnid is said to live in the forest of the Congo, where it's also known as the Great Congolese Spider. It's said to have a leg span of some six feet and has a brown body that resembles that of a tarantula. Sightings of this creature date back to around 1938. That's when a family of three reported seeing a spider about as big as a monkey. They're said to spin strong circular webs and will extend strands across game trails. According to natives, the huge spiders are highly venomous and will prey on large animals like forest antelope. Locals also say the spiders were once numerous, but now they're becoming a rarer sight. Could the giant spiders be some unknown species of arachnid that is vanishing due to encroachment or due to other factors? And our number one cryptid is just ahead. It didn't seem right not to include this creature on such a list, and it is a name you'll likely recognize. Mothman is likely the most famous cryptid in the folklore of West Virginia, and it's made a name for itself around the world as well. The giant humanoid creature with red eyes, massive wings, and a horrible screech was first sighted in 1966 near a munitions factory. While some experts conjecture the creature can be explained away as a sandhill crane, we're guessing that explanation likely has more doubters than believers. Crazy Critter of Bald Mountain in November of 1974, witnesses claimed to see a fiery object crash to Earth near Bald Mountain in Lewis County, Washington State. About a week later, people in the area reported seeing a bizarre insectoid creature that was about the size of a horse. When a local sheriff attempted to investigate the incidents, he was supposedly confronted by heavily armed individuals who claimed they represented both NASA and the U.S. Air Force. After that, nearly all the information regarding the bizarre beast conveniently vanished. I know you need more scary stuff in your life, so check out 10 Mythical Creatures Which May Have Once Been Real on Crypto Queen. See you there.